Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's video unboxing is a world premiere of sorts of a bootmaker that's emerged from the ever-growing Chinese bootmaker scene which follows up on the promise of the expanding, innovative, classic menswear and shoemaking scene that's emerged from China. This is JW Shoemakers, also known as Johnny Works which has the same name, Johnny Works, on Instagram. Johnny Works showed up on Instagram in mid-2022 and started posting more actively towards the turn of the year in 2023. And we're producing a wide number of styles that intrigued me. And so I reached out and secured a pair of their monkey boots. I wanted a specific colorway, a burgundy color, and I wanted the leather that they had chosen for uh, black model that they had released and I just asked if it was possible to create something in a burgundy leather and they were able to do that. Size 9 equates to a Brannock 10D just so you know. While I take you through the unboxing we'll talk a little bit more about Johnny Works. They construct their boots using Goodyear welting coupled with machine lasting and a machine stitched outsole. So really more of an automated process. They have some unique lasts and I wanted to see what a high quality boot, at least the way they are portrayed on Instagram, could look like from a Chinese maker using more machine oriented processes rather than the hand welting, hand lasting processes that we've become used to. And so we're gonna remove the box. Right away stating that they are Goodyear welted as you can see right here. We're gonna peel away the paper, which is actually done really nice. Really nice presentation here and you see would look like two canvas style cloth bags, really high quality bags from what I can tell, with the Johnny Works Bootmakers logo here, makers of fine shoes since 2014. And so Johnny Works has been releasing shoes to the Chinese domestic market for nearly a decade now and just emerged via Instagram onto the international scene. One set of laces and a second set of even more noticeably dramatic laces here. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out this pair here first, just so you can get a good view. And here we go. You can see this is a monkey boot with the traditional heel counter running into the side paneling here. Um, there are several different styles of monkey boots, but this is one of the more classic styles fashioned from two pieces of leather joining to the facing leather that also creates the upper collar and shaft of that, um, that shoe. You can see the back heel here with a pretty aggressive Cuban style curved heel and a heel counter with an integrated pull tab here made from a separate piece of leather. Um, just to note here, there's a slight stitch on the bottom that is to facilitate lasting. You can see the Vibram sole that is quite popular amongst uh, the Pacific Northwest makers and the Goodyear welting seems to be done really cleanly here. And if we look from above, you're gonna see that this has numerous eyelets and speed hooks. This has a total of five, nine eyelets and three speed hooks right here. So there we go, I'll give you a little perspective. This is created from a horse leather that was hand painted by Johnny Works from what they told me. This is actually a really soft, supple leather. I believe it's from Marion Tannery, but it's not. Um, stacked leather heel here. Um, this is a boot that's about five and a half to six inches high here. You can see that lace to toe design here and a nice shine applied to the shoe. If we study the details a little closer, you can see really cleanly done upper stitching here. I believe this is also done by machine, though you don't see the, the track marks from the machine here. So this 270 degree flat welt construction done around the edges here. This is the Goodyear welting with a reasonable stitch density. This looks about to be six or seven stitches per inch just by a rough eyeball. The last you can see is a fairly rounded last with a slightly asymmetric profile, bowing out a little bit more on the outside than the inside, but somewhat elongated, really beautifully done. This looks like a natural grain to the leather. It doesn't look like your typical embossed grain leather. 
and it has a really nice soft handle. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. You can see the insides here, the um, eyelets there, and then this um, tongue here that does not have any gusseted attachments on the inside. Look, this is a more elegant monkey boot, almost reminiscent of a bowling shoe, but with a taller uh, top half. And uh, I think it is just really cleanly done. And so Johnny Works has my initial thumbs up here. We're gonna put the boot bag here just so you can see. I'm looking forward to trying these boots on. They should be very uh, stylistically appropriate for a more casual outfit. Should go really well with indigo denim and even chinos. And I think that we have a winner here. So these boots I paid $300 for, that included shipping. I believe that is a standard price for most of their models. I did not get any discount to review the shoe or anything like that. Johnny Works, take a look at this brand. They are contactable via Instagram using direct messaging. Uh, from what I hear, they're about to start to release more of an effort towards international marketing. So get on board while you can. Hope you're doing well and we'll catch you at the next video. Take care, okay? Have a good one. Bye-bye.